hi guys in this video we are going to talk about dynamic search ad campaign we are going to find out what is a dynamic search ad campaign what are the advantage and what are the disadvantage of the dynamic search ad campaign in which case scenario you can use dynamic search ad campaign and in which case scenario you need to avoid dynamic search ad campaign so first of all what is a dynamic search ad campaign so dynamic search ad campaign can automatically generate your headlines landing page depending on the content of your website it can help to reach the broader audience without the need of manual keyword selection yes so you don't need to type any sort of keywords it heavily rely on the content of on your website so it use the technology which can help google to read your website and it can generate all the headlines and choose the pacific landing page depending on the search query of the user so that is a dynamic search ad campaign so in which scenario we can use that one so if you have a site which is specifically heavy on content and you have organized your stuff very specifically depending on the category dynamic search ad campaign can be very very helpful so in that case scenario it can create a pacific headline and direct user to pacific landing page okay but if your site has a very thin content or you haven't optimized your content you are you have not optimized your meta description your title tag or you haven't have any sort of content written on your website i would highly recommend you before you run a search dynamic search ad campaign just focus on your content on your website and once that thing is done then you can come up and use the dynamic search ad campaign so in this video we will go to our screen share where i will show you how to set up a dynamic search ad campaign and then if you think your site is optimized from the content perspective so you can set up a dynamic search ad campaign so anyone who is working with us and has a very good website and their content is optimized and we try to use a dynamic search ad campaign on on their site the reason behind is like google algorithm or the artificial intelligence is taking over and then we want to see that where where is the gap in our keyword research so if the dynamic search ad is giving us a positive result or the, from the search query we can make a pacific campaign or pacific search campaign related to those query so that is a very helpful way to find out the gap between the market and what you are not targeting and straight away so that's where the dynamic search ad campaign become very very helpful let's go to the screen share and where i will show you how to set up a dynamic search ad campaign so here we are in this uh, Google ad account. So we are running a full campaign up in here and we are getting a rough good result for this particular client. Okay. And uh, the first thing, if you are already running a search ad campaign, what you can do is go into that particular ad account. And then in on those particular ad uh, account, you can go to the ad groups and then you can uh, click plus. And then what you can do is the ad group type you can change from standard to dynamic and that way you can you can choose the the type of the campaign and run the dynamic search ad campaign but i will show you how to set up a dynamic search ad campaign by itself so you do not include that particular ad group inside your existing search ad campaign although you can do that but uh, let's say if we want to set up a new dynamic search ad campaign okay so the first thing you need to do is come up here on the plus sign new campaign and you can choose the objective but i would go with the without any goal guidance and select a campaign type okay up here over here you can choose all of the conversion action which you want to track i'm gonna leave them as it is and or you can add from here okay no website or anything like that Give this a name let's say this is a dynamic search ad campaign and search okay so and then with the date which is let's say 12 of the 3 23 okay and then we go continue and start new okay over here we're gonna skip everything from here and we're gonna take our search network display network over here you can choose your location or any specific location you want to use 
choose the language which is english up here we are not going to touch audience segment we're going to leave them as a observation okay and we're going to leave the broad match to off and this one off as well in the more setting if you want to choose this one just optimize best performing ads for the dynamic search ad campaign i will prefer um, to optimize prefer best performing ad in other search ad campaign i will not use that option but for the dynamic search ad campaign i normally use this first option to prefer best performing ad okay for start and end date you can choose the next day normally when i set up a campaign i choose the date for the next day not in the middle of the day so that way if you are setting up a budget like let's say you have a 100 to 150 dollar budget in a day and you are setting up your ad in the middle of the day the google mm -hmm. gonna spend all of your budget so it's highly recommended from my perspective is to set up the day and add starting date for the next day okay add schedule is depend on your business if you say if you want to run all day then all day if you are monday to friday then you can choose depending on the hour of operation of your business okay and in the more setting are we not going to touch anything and let's go and in this ad group so if we're gonna leave this one it's gonna make a standard ad group so what we're gonna do we're gonna delete this one yes remove and then on the budget we let's say we're gonna pick 45 next so it's gonna check for the errors obviously we haven't set up any ad group or any keywords or anything like that so it's gonna show us error let's wait for that okay and we're gonna publish the campaign so it's gonna say your campaign can run so just simply publish that one okay once we have published that one what are we gonna do we're gonna come up here in dsa search and we gonna pause this campaign okay here we are in this dsa search dynamic search ad campaign which we created so all we need to do here is to create an ad group now so we what we're gonna do here we're gonna click on create an ad group and then this is where we're gonna make it a dynamic search ad campaign so we're gonna ch change from ad type standard to dynamic so here we go so here you're gonna put the url of your website i'm gonna copy and paste so here is the ad group name so this ad group name you can you can make an ad group depending on the categories or depending on the services you provide so it's all depend on you give a name according to the category you are targeting let's say you are targeting for the lunch then uh, you can target you can give the name to the lunch one or if there is any subcategory of the lunch let's say sandwiches or if is a any other subcategory between the main category you can you can target that particular ad group according or ad group naming according to your target location so you can see that google is recommending 17 categories according to the website so you can see that it is showing also the preview the the headline and then the landing page for the site so you can see the the other one is a lunchbox which is the another category which google has picked up and you can see that it is showing the vegan lunchbox and then it is choosing the landing page automatically so this is the power of dynamic search ad but if you want to have a little bit of control over where you want to send your traffic so what i recommend is choose a pacific web page so what you can do up here is use the exact url so rather than google is deciding for you you choose that okay i just want to target that particular category nothing else i want to test it out and see okay so this is the another option so the third option is all of the web page so if it is saying that you just want to target all of your website and doesn't matter you don't care where the user is going and you just want google to decide that okay choose and send the traffic to the relevant pages for that scenario you need to come up with a description that is relevant to your entire website but i normally don't recommend this one because you don't know where google gonna send it to send the user either they send on faq either they send gonna contact us or about us so that is just a waste for for user and Google, user is doing more of the work rather than you are targeting the person to a pacific landing page so my recommendation would be that is choose the exact url so let's say we're gonna put the exact url up here so we're gonna put the url up here and then you're gonna press add 
So this one is got added up here. So we're gonna give the name is a lunch catering. Okay, this is where the dynamic search ad come. As you can see that it is saying the final URL, which is where the user will land, is dynamically gonna be generated by Google. Headline going to be dynamically generated by Google, and the display URL will be dynamically created by Google. So all you need to do up here is create a specific description related to the category which you have chosen okay so so i will write down the description quickly all right so i have written the description according to the landing page so what we're going to do here is save and continue so as you can see that this is the lunch catering one up here this is the targeting page which we are targeting and you can see that which is already up here in the negative dynamic ad targeting which is very very important in that scenario so what you can do up here is you can you can you can put the pages where you don't want the traffic to go so like normally the pages like a contact us about us or faq or any irrelevant pages which you don't want to send it the traffic to that particular page so what you can do is that's the same thing you can use the exact URL, just cut, copy, paste, and then add up here. So that will work as a dynamic ad, a negative dynamic ad targeting. So it will give the signal to Google that you don't want that to, um, to target. And you can choose on the campaign level or you can choose on the ad group level as well. Okay, so that's it from here. And then once you are done from here, so what you can do up here is you can create a, another ad group depending on on which on where in that particular category you want to target okay either you want to target the subcategory or you want to target another main category so that way you can you can see that um, google will automatically generate the headline automatically pick up your landing page and stuff like that okay so that is how you set up your dynamic search ad campaign so once your campaign is running for a particular, let's say for one month or two months, or depending on how much testing or how much budget you are spending towards it. So you can come up here in your insight reports and you can see that what are the particular search term which you are not targeting in your particular search campaign and see that what sort of conversion rate is coming. And those conversion term or those conversion or those search time you can target specifically in your search ad campaign that's how normally i do it so i'm gonna run this campaign and i will update you regarding this particular ad campaign and uh, what sort of result we got and within next maybe within four weeks i'm gonna make another video and see i will let you know that what what sort of result we got from this dynamic search ad campaign so that's it from the dynamic search ad campaign i hope that has make a sense to you and if you are thinking to use a dynamic search ad campaign and and you want to see that what sort of uh, search term which you are not targeting uh, within your business you can use the dynamic search ad campaign and find out so that's it from my side I hope this video has made a sense to you and if you have any question or any suggestion regarding the dynamic search ad campaign i will appreciate your comments down below and i will see you in the next video thank you very much